righty. It's been right out a week since the last video. We'll give you a little update on the garden and a few other things going on around here at the house. We've actually planted some seascape everburn strawberries this year. It's something new for us, and they're actually starting to set on some berries. If you can see them, they're close. So it shouldn't be too often much longer. We'll at least have a few berries. Some mix of a little bit of raised bed soil with some of the soil from the garden. We actually bought, I think, three packs of mixture of Everburn and June Burn strawberries from Tractor Supply, and of all three packs. Actually, I think that one's dying. This is the only one that come up at all. And I believe it's dying. So be cautious when you're buying your stuff from Trash Supply. I actually ordered these other ones off of Amazon, and every one of them is doing good. So we're real happy with that. I'll show you a couple of the pepper plants. We call these wheels pepper plants. We got them in a pot for them here. These are some of the cherry bomb peppers it's heat today they look better this morning the heat's been rough on today it's like 97 i think out here right now but this is what you what they call the cherry bomb peppers they're uh, hot, hot pepper they're not really really hot but they're really good people they're sweet they're about like that when they're done and here's a i think a red maximus bell i'm not 100 percent sure on that I have to wait and see how it pans out. I had a few extra in a seed tray when we started them, so we'll see what becomes of that. But they've been looking real good. We're walking down here to the garden. We've actually completely resold our yard this year. We actually didn't have any grass before, mainly just weeds. So it's between all the soil testing and the lime and the fertilizer, this yard has become about a twice weekly mow. So we'll get our buckets here and we'll go down here to the garden and see what we can what we can find. Um, so the wife's landscaping here she's been working on. I guess I'll show you some of her flowers back here. They're knockout roses that done real good this year. They need to be deadheaded in a few places, but they looking real good, especially in this heat. She does a good job with her roses. All righty. Let's take us down here at the garden, see what we can see. Give you a little top view of the garden here. Right in here's the cantaloupes, rows of peppers, cucumbers in the upper left end there, a row of celebrity tomatoes, hossinators, and then super sweet 100 cherry tomatoes. Down here, is our watermelon patch. You can see it's really took off the last little bit. We'll take you down there and show you show you the progress in the last week. I think it's been like 97 degrees today and it's humid too. It's a a true 97. It's trying to cloud up. Oh, there might be a little little bit of rain yet 
it's been pretty dry here it's been that irrigation system has really been in a handy thing to have got us a little path made here we did get in the garden um i don't know three or four days ago and did a little bit of weeding we're starting to get a little bit out of control with that but we'll start here with the this is the super sweet 100 that we'd said in a previous video had tried to wilt on us but it seemed to have come out of it and i think it's going to be okay we do have some little tomatoes sitting on so see a little bit of evidence of that wilt but i'm literally the entire top of this was covered in the wilt so we we'll have to come in here and try to push get a few of these running a little bit better in these cages this is another one of the super sweet 100s it's doing really good you see some of the fruit sitting on here looking real good here's another one they're kind of just i mean you see they're coming out of the tops of the cages they kind of just out of control at this point i didn't do a real good job for a couple of weeks running them through the cages and they kind of just just went wild and took over and the heat today has been terrible all righty here's some of the hyacinators you can see they're sitting on and getting really good size there's been a lot of progress in the last week with these really happy with how these are turning out here's some more We may even have some tomatoes pretty quick. Big pretty plants too. So it shouldn't be much longer. I'll get you some better shots inside on these. Really pretty tomatoes. Really satisfied with the hyacinator so far. over here you can see set on you can see the plants look really good too all right on this side over here we got some celebrities you can see they're actually starting to set on too even though these are about four weeks later behind the rest of these They've actually caught up and are starting to set on tomatoes. So that shows you that it don't make a lot of difference if you get that real early start. You tend to kind of everything catches back up where it was before. Really good looking tomato plants. Oh, these are celebrities. This whole row here, all the way down through our celebrities. You can see how dry this ground is. It's getting really, really dry. Now this begins that zucchini plant that we actually found. We threw the bad seed, what we thought was a bad seed down here, beside this, beside Grandpa's old house here, and it come up, and I just pulled him up and stuck him down here. He seems to, seems to be making it. Now this cucumber plant here, it has grown some, but it was stunted compared to the rest of them, seems like. There's something going on with it. But hopefully it's trying to come out of it a little bit. And these are the max pack cucumbers. I believe we'll have plenty today. Yesterday was pretty busy. I didn't get a chance to get down here and, and pick them off. So we should have plenty today. But there's a good looking cucumber. Max pack. Get here and get some more. The plants look a lot better than they did last time we was down here. It rain last time had them beat down pretty bad. We've about let some of these get too big. Let's see. Yeah, it's it'll still be okay. That's about as big as you want one of them to to really get. I'm 
All righty. See if we can find any more. It seems like with cucumbers, you'll pick some up and think you got all of them, and you'll come back down the row from a different direction, and you'll find some more. It's real easy for them to hide, and you'll miss them, and then by the time you come back the next day, they're too big. Let's see if we can get you in here and show you this. One. Oh, I sure won't pick off. Another pretty one. That one's about right. About where we want them at. Now these cages, I know you probably probably grow more if you let them run on the ground. But it's so much easier to deal with them in these cages and they, they're so much prettier. They don't lay on the ground, get bad looking places on them and you pick them off, they're already pretty clean. Now, we've not sprayed anything in this garden yet for bugs or weeds or anything like that. This is, you might even call this a borderline organic garden up to this point. All righty, we got some over here, too. Let's see what we got. That's a little bit on the small side. We may give. We're going to get that now. It's pretty good. I'm afraid tomorrow he'll be a little on the big side. Alrighty. Here's another. Another pretty one right there. So you can see you skip a day on them and they, they almost get out of control on you. Tiny and sitting on there. These are doing real good. There's another one. I don't know, it just seems like these it's concrete wire cages, these little squares that you reach through. Like they're just the perfect size to put your hand through. We skipped a day. This will probably be one of our bigger harvest some yet. Try to be more diligent about that. And here's one over here I actually missed when I was on this side a while ago. This is the angle. When you come down these rows, these big leaves, if it's the angle's already bit off on it, you overlook some. Now we still. That's off three plants. We didn't really get one off at first, and we got two more to go. You see, we've already got a basket full. Let's get down in here. There's some pretty ones in here. Now, these just about, about got too big. Now, I've eaten a few of these max packs that were a little bit on the big side. And they didn't seem a bit better to me now. It's some of the sweetest cucumbers that I've ever eaten. Really good. Let's see if we can see any more. Oh yeah, there's some there's some more. Might should have brought us two baskets down. Unless something changes dramatically, this will probably be our go-to. See, it's like I like these little seeds and these little pickling ones and a lot the size of them. It's like it's hard to eat the big ones up. That would grow it in there tight, wouldn't it? Oh, we're losing some. There's one sort of look like it growing up against the wall for a little bit. Now that does happen sometimes with the concrete wall, but that's better than them growing on the ground. Alrighty. Again, you've got to kind of circle these things because you'll miss some here and there. Not sure some.
seems like to me, I know it's been really dry, it seems like a dry year is a little bit better on the garden. At least you can control the amount of water you get. Everything's all wet, everything gets all blighted. And like when it's dry like this, you don't have the disease problems. Now this one got too big. That's too big, girl. They start getting like that. They, that live will start getting bitter on you. Well, we run out of room in our bucket. I'll let these down here. Yeah, pack them up some other way. So don't be skipping days on getting your cucumbers out of the garden. All right. Now I think that's it. We'll make one little turn just to make sure we ain't missing nothing. All righty. Now these right here, now there's some of those uh, zucchinis that were kind of an afterthought. We had some plants we lost and we we're just trying to fill some gaps. So everywhere we lost a plant, we stuck a zucchini down. That's why you kind of seen them randomly here and there. Here's a couple. They're starting to look real good. Here's another one. Now this pepper plant right here, it got the top took off of it early in life and it just ain't, it ain't gonna come out of it, I don't think. This is probably our prettiest zucchini. Now these were all planted at the same time while this one's doing better, I don't know. But it's the biggest one we got. Now these right here are some more of them what's called cherry bomb peppers. You can see they're starting to get some bloom on them are really good pickled. Not sure too. And we actually put it sometimes like in chilies and stuff and it adds just enough spice to it. If I had to describe it as first flavor, it's something similar to a cayenne. Same thing down here. Get some little zucchinis up there in the row. Now these, this is either, I believe this is the uh, yellow bells, yellow hosinator bells. They're looking real good. They've really improved over the last few days. Now these, I run a deer off a while ago. You've probably seen it. I think deer or something's been down here and eat the leaves off sides of these. They're trying to grow some back, but it is starting to get some bloom in it. You know, I think this is the yellow bell, yellow hosinator bells. It's looking good too. Now these down here is a uh, red and green, red maximus bells, and then the green hosinator. And then this is some of the cherry bombs here. So everything's had a dramatic jump last few days, seems like. Now there's a lot of weeds in between these uh, cantaloupes. With the way the vines are, rather than just getting down there and pulling it out by hand, I really don't know what else to do it. So, But they are growing, the vines are. You can see we got a, a lot of cantaloupes set on here. Chairs are pretty in here. Real pretty cantaloupe there. They're starting to get that, a few of them getting that webbing on them. So that's good. Still got some bloom too. Now up in here too is cantaloupes. See these are starting to look good too. I did till this up here with a rototiller. Just try to get loose enough. I figured this be one of the last tills I get on it before this starts to come up into here. You can't get in here no more. All right, here's one. Two. Starting to get that good webbing on it. Probably be, I think this one's a little older than the rest of them. It'll probably get 
right for you. The rest of these do. There's some more. Now up here, again, we've got this plant up here that we don't really know what it is. I'm thinking it's some kind of decorative gourd. Thought it was a cucumber plant at first, actually, that I'd incidentally plant up here. I actually even run the irrigation to it originally, but I found out it ain't. So it's probably one of these decorative gourds. We had had some and we threw them over the hill when we got done with them one year. And it's kind of laying around here on the hill. So I think it's one of them come up, but whatever it is, it's doing good. It's running every which way. So whatever y'all think that is, let me know down in the comments. Here's what the close up of the leaves look like. Now, cheers are watermelons. Sangria watermelons. Oh, and the cantaloupes, they're ambrosia cantaloupes. These are sangria watermelons, and they're really doing good. I run the irrigation on them this morning. It looks a little wet there. That really seemed to have helped them. They're kind of just taking over the upper garden here. That's all we got planned in this upper garden. I'm hoping it'll just run all over it and take it. And I'm trying to keep the weeds killed out up here best they can. So if they have to run up the hill, they can. But you can see we're starting to get some bloom in on them. So hopefully it won't be too much longer. We'll start seeing some watermelon set. Now, we lost this one down here a while back. I never did pull it up. It's just kind of dried up. But I think too this we got a pecan tree here. And I think shading it out some. But up here everything's doing good. You can see how thick it is. Oh, I think I see something. Let's see what we got. We're getting some little watermelon set on. So that's exciting. That's probably what I look to look forward to the most out of the garden this year. I don't think watermelons have been grown in this patch of this garden here since my grandpa actually grew them so I'm looking really forward to that seeing how they turn out I don't see much more I'm sure there's some some set on in some of these plants I just ain't I ain't seen them from above. I'd have to get down there and dig around and see. You see, they pretty much just took over. Here's the mulberry we was talking about last time. I think it's still got a few trying to turn on it, but every time one turns, as a bird gets it. All righty. I just thought I'd give you a little update on the garden. Everything seems to be doing pretty good. I think we're going to have a, a pretty good year, Lord willing, as long as nothing don't change. If you like these kind of videos, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.